How are you okay with letting your husband call you nig? Call you nig. Call you nig. <laughs> and he hates black people. <laughs> Welcome, 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 black. <laughs> welcome, 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 black. Okay, I know y'all missed me, okay? I know it's been a minute since I've, you know, come to y'all with this knowledge, but a lot has been happening. If you've been following my channel, you'll know. Moved to Thailand, teaching abroad, had to set up my new space. Hope you like it, a little different. Um, at some point, you know, if you're interested, there'll be an apartment tour, what I do in a day, all that stuff. But I was like, let me come back to y'all with the content that we started this channel off with that I'm always going to do, which is giving you all this black knowledge. As you can see from the title of this video, this is all going to be about the movie Passing that just dropped on Netflix. Now, you know, I'm not going to, I know my last video was kind of about a movie, like it's not going to be like a movie reviewing channel unless that's what y'all want like black movies or whatever, which is something I can incorporate in my videos and stuff. But I just saw a lot of people talking about this movie. I watched it, I had some thoughts after talking to some friends. And I was like, you know what, let me, let me, let me talk about this. Like, let me get on here and see, you know, what other people have been saying and what I feel about it. So that's what we're doing, that's where we're at. Also, there will be spoilers, okay? So <laughs> if you have not seen the movie, pause this, go watch it, come back to the video. But if you have seen the movie, keep watching. All right, so first I'm gonna talk about my initial reactions. So I'm not gonna lie, when I first finished this movie, I was like, okay, what's for dinner? Like, not that I didn't like it. I was just like, I feel like I had seen a lot of stuff on Twitter where people were like, passing and the deep messages and the, 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 and the, the foreshadow, and I literally was just like, I, to me, everything was just clear. Like the story was clear. I was like, okay, like she met this woman, this woman was passing. They kind of had this weird little thing. There's a lot of privilege stuff going on. And then the woman dies. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I was like, maybe I was like, maybe I missed something. So I immediately did what I do <laughs> whenever I finish something, I go on Twitter <laughs> and look at the hashtag. Cause I'm like, okay, like obviously I missed something. Like obviously, and not that it was like, like I understood the concepts, but I was just like, like what, what was I supposed to, like what else was there? Um, so I went on Twitter and I, I feel like I was able to like, okay, yeah, these are the thoughts that I had. This is what I thought. And then I found out more information. So first things first, when I was, you know, doing research for this video and stuff, I thought this story, I thought Passing, the woman who played Claire, um, I thought all of it was based on a true story. I thought there was like a real woman or real women and it was like kind of a historical like, um, what's that called when they, historical fictionalization, like it was based on like actually two women, but then they just, you know, maybe change the story up. And I found out it's not. So it's not based, like the two women were not like real people. It's not based on history, but it is based on a screenplay. So someone wrote a screenplay about this. And I just know from my background, African-American studies, that people did successfully pass. Black women, black people did successfully pass, whether they were mixed race or they were just like really light and maybe had like hair or whatever, or, you know, in a certain way that did pass for white. Um, married white people had white, you know, mainly white children or whatever, or children that were socialized to be white. So I do know in general people did pass. So either way, it is based on like some real accounts, possibly of some people, but yeah, it's not based on a true story. So that was interesting to find out. And overall, my initial reaction, I thought the acting was amazing. Like I will say, um, Tessa Thompson and Ruth Nega, icons, they did what they had to do. I felt like the acting was like really great. And again, I liked the film. I, it's not like I just didn't like it. I was just like still waiting to see like, I, maybe I was like, maybe I missed the messages, but yeah. Initially the acting was amazing. I was like, y'all did that, period. So I looked on Twitter and then I talked to a really great, my best friend. <laughs> I talked to my best friend who had been also tweeting about it. And I was just like, okay, I watched the movie. 
like tell me what i missed like what like what does everyone keep talking about like i was just like okay so after looking on twitter and talking to my best friend doing some research here are some of my themes some of the big takeaways um some of the reasons why you know it was so like talked about and stuff other than the fact that it was an interesting story and the acting was amazing so the first big theme that i saw people on twitter talking about my friend kind of explained to me which is something i could see in the movie was this theme of passing but not necessarily obviously passing as white but shocker tessa thompson's character irene and ruth nega's character um claire passing as people who are heterosexual because apparently they're like lesbian which makes sense which makes sense and that's like an idea that was being tossed around a theory which i actually believe because honestly like when they first met like i feel like it was claire was like oh like i remember when we met when we were younger and other thought i honestly just the way they were looking the eyes the the flirtatious the t i don't know something i was like what happened when y'all were younger like did y'all like did you date like <laughs> i was like okay but apparently they were just like friends but i feel like there was a lot of hints of like them kind of wanting each other so besides the obvious tension between both of them i feel like we are shown like between irene and her husband like irene not always wanting her husband or like not always like wanting him like being there for him and them wanting each other for like a partnership but i don't know maybe them not really like meshing like when it comes to intimacy i feel like we see little things like hints of that um apparently at some point after i forgot he was like i'm not getting any from my wife and then we see that point where just like they kind of go to sleep and just kind of like you know are coexisting um i think there's like one time where they like it alludes that they like get intimate or whatever so not to say that it like never happened but i will say like her and her husband didn't really just seem like super just like there with the chemistry especially because it seemed like irene was more interested in claire for a while um and seemed to kind of get heartbroken by claire a little bit and then was like I don't want to talk to you anymore or whatever so that's kind of what i think makes people feel like they were probably like passing as heterosexual people also the fact that um was it? irene had an issue with claire and her husband like getting close and of course when you're watching it you're like does she have an issue like this is her man and they keep going off together she's letting them go off together like i was even sitting there like couldn't be me but after thinking about this and like knowing that this is a thing i was like maybe she had an issue with that because she was like jealous of claire like she was like upset at claire talking to her man like you know what i mean like not she was it's not like she was like oh my man i gotta keep him but it was more like dang like claire is really out here talking to this guy like who's my who just happens to be my man like I don't like that like why isn't she giving me as, as much attention but the get the gag was claire was giving her a bunch of attention <laughs> and claire claire seemed to be really be like trying to get at irene like i feel like she was calling her every day like she was showing up at her house she was sending her letters <laughs> i was just like dang like she really wants you but i don't know there so i i just feel like all that i was like Hmm, I can see them something more happening or going on and I thought more would happen but homegirl fell out the window or was she pushed we'll get to that later I feel like Irene seemed to want Claire all to herself like which I mean she's like a friend so you know you want you want to hang out with your friend but I don't know like it was like like I feel like Claire would like talk to the maid and Irene was kind of like no I want to talk to you or like I feel like Claire would talk to the husband and be like, no, I want to talk to you. Or like when Claire was out dancing at that little shindig or whatever, <laughs> the little diddle dewy wop or whatever they call it. <laughs> but you know, like she was out there dancing with those guys. You know, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And I feel like Irene was looking at her like, and then they like grazed hands. I don't know. So that's why I was like, I definitely feel like there could have been an instance where not only was she obviously passing as white, but they were both passing in their heterosexual relationship as, you know, straight people when really like maybe they were maybe bisexual or maybe lesbian. And I feel like while they recognized each other and like saw each other, they could have also like seen each other on that level too of like, 
okay like obviously we both like each other like we're both in this relationship like we're so similar you know like we're both pretending to be heterosexual so that was a theme like i said people were kind of talking about it on twitter so comment down below if that's something that you noticed um as well and if that's like a theory or whatever so yeah all right, so the second big theme that I feel like, I, now this is a thing that I noticed in the movie and I was like, that's interesting. And I, I was like, I kind of like that. So the second theme that I really noticed was this theme of privilege. Um, so I feel like in the beginning of the movie, we are shown <laughs> the wildness of Claire, just how Claire is really just like, yeah, I passed for white, I got a white husband. He lets me, he, he calls me Nig which was wild <laughs> i have kids nobody knows i'm black like i'm just like she's like passing and of course us watching we're like what that's wild ha like gross you know that's like how are you able to do this how are you okay with letting your husband call you nig you know because you're getting tan every year <laughs> and he hates black people <laughs> we're just like what um, and then we see we're in the perspective of Irene who is also like girl what so we we like sympathize and empathize with her and then we see that while Irene can pass she's choosing to live this very like black life of like I live in Harlem my husband cannot pass my kids cannot pass like you know I think I forgot her job it was like something you know work I feel like she works with like curating black art or black artists or something like that you know like she, it's like she's choosing this life and we're like okay yes claire you're wild and irene i'm with you but i feel like throughout the movie we start to see a shift happen a little bit because we start to realize that like irene even though she chose this like black life has some serious issues <laughs> with i feel like her blackness or her proximity to blackness because like for example, she doesn't like her kids to like learn about racism, even though they are black males, like growing up, like she's just like, I don't want to teach them. Now, of course, like her defense of they're really young, I get it, but I'm also like, but girl, <laughs> they're gonna have to learn. And she just seemed absolutely uninterested in talking about all of that stuff. And the main thing, which is my best friend pointed out to me that I was like, yeah, she was like really mean to her maid and her maid who was like a, a, a black woman who could not pass, like a dark skinned black woman. Like, I feel like she was very like, you're the maid, like we're not friends, you stay in your position, you stay in your struggle, I'm gonna be out here clean, take care of the kids, bye, you know? Which I was like, that's not nice. <laughs> like, if you, you're on this black, like, you know, that's not nice that you're treating your maid this way. And it's interesting because I feel like as we see Irene doing that, we see Claire really like wanting this like black life and like wishing she chose this and being really nice to the maid and like going to the events and like wanting to dance with people and then wanting to like really be engulfed in the culture. Now, of course, I'm like, well, of course you want to be engulfed in the culture because being black is lit and maybe you chose <laughs> you chose to to enter this white passing life but you and you can't really be yourself so like duh but i feel like we just start to see like that they're they're not as different as maybe we initially thought you know um and just because irene chose this life that doesn't mean that she's like she's just living comfortably in this like blackness like she's definitely got some privileges that she's not really willing to accept especially because i feel like her and Irene are very similar in the fact that not only can they both pass, but they're both wealthy. Cause like, I feel like Claire, no, Irene, I don't even know if she worked. Like, I don't think she had to work. Her husband's a doctor. She's able to have a nice house. She's able to have a maid. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, I, and I feel like she wasn't really like acknowledging that. But I feel like she was looking at Claire like, wow, your kids go to boarding school. Wow, you travel a lot. And I'm like, girl, you could probably do that too. Or, you know, you're closer to being able to do that than someone else. Overall, I just feel like there was just kind of this like underlying theme of just privilege. Um, and I mean, I think it was showing how like, how different but similar they are. But I think it was just interesting seeing like how both of their proximity to blackness was just very different. Like, I feel like Claire, I mean, Claire was like physically away from blackness, but I feel like was like really trying to be right there within like, you know, the like, aspects of the culture. 
And I feel like Irene was like technically very close to blackness, but like still had like, you know, things that she wanted to like separate herself um, from that, from, you know, these things of the realities of being a black person, especially in like the, I think it was take place in like the 50s, 60s, and then in Harlem, you know, so very interesting that was something i noticed that i kind of liked that they like touched on in just terms of you know these aspects of privilege and the last big theme which was i mean I'm not, it's like a theme but it's kind of not it's like there people keep talking about the foreshadowing to the end of the movie and i kind of talked about it a little bit throughout but end of the movie <laughs> was wild okay um yeah there was like this conversation with the director um, and she was talking about how like Irene throughout the movie kept dropping things and people on Twitter were pointing that out too like she dropped like the vase no not a vase she dropped the teapot then she dropped like the little pot of like flowers and then by the end of the movie she dropped the woman I mean it was it was right there it was right there didn't see it see it now now speaking of <laughs> let's let's get into this comment down below do you think irene pushed claire off the balcony <laughs> do you think claire jumped off the balcony or do you think her husband in his fury and rage pushed claire off the balcony i'll tell you what i think but comment down below what you think happened um because the way they showed it it really could have been either of those it really could have been Either of those, we don't really know for sure, and we're left wondering, which, you know, was fine, a little mystery, you know, it's fine. Um, a little un, unopened, what is that? Not unopened question. Open-ended question, child. It's, it was a long day, okay? But you know, so yeah, comment down below. Did she, was she pushed? Did she fall? Or was she pushed? <laughs> and if she was pushed, who do you think did it? Now, me personally, this is Aziza's, idea i kind of feel like irene pushed her <laughs> we see irene kind of go like that i think irene pushed her um i think by the end of the movie we just see irene is just going through it she's sleeping all day it seems like she sleeps and wakes up and it's weeks later like she's just she's in a depressive funk she's in a i don't know she's just she's not the same person and we know that claire keeps like calling and trying to be there and hang out with her husband maybe because then Irene isn't necessarily a credible like you know narrator and like all these things but I believe that Irene probably pushed her probably because I think Irene I think they were in love I think I, I think if the movie had been if they had had a relationship that it had continued I think they probably would have been dating they would have been together they would have been in secret like I think they were really in love and I think they you know, had strong feelings for one another. But I think Irene maybe was just not ready to admit it. I think she didn't know how to. I think Irene wanted Claire, but knew that she couldn't really have her. Not one because of her marriage and kids, but also just because of the timing. And you know, I don't know how it was being in an open, you know, lesbian relationship, but it's probably frowned upon, especially being black women. And then it'd probably have been like, why would you leave your husband doctor? like? your kids so I, I feel like Irene was probably upset about that and I also think Irene was probably mad at Claire for being all flirty with her husband at least that's what she thought that's what she saw um Claire being very flirty with her husband whether it was because she was like this is my husband don't touch him or whether it was because why are you giving him more attention than you're giving me because I'm in love with you because we're in love with each other so I think these are were some reasons why Claire I feel like was like if I if I can't have you no one can which is terrible <laughs> and Irene also could have been a little upset or sad about the fact that Claire like got along well with her kids and got along well with her maid and got along well with her husband and she was just kind of like jealous of that and and how Claire was very okay and comfortable in blackness, even though was she really because she chose this life or whatever, maybe I think she she seemed to be and maybe Irene was a little bit envious of that and just didn't like that and felt like, okay, this woman is trying to take my life over. Um, what, again, whether we know if that's a, like a fact or not, but that's maybe how Irene felt. So I think all of those reasons compounded onto one another 
explain that Irene could have also pushed her over the balcony. But, 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 personally, and as I keep thinking about it, I'm starting to sway a little bit, I could be easily convinced that Claire killed herself. I could be convinced that Claire killed herself, and I'll tell you why. I believe it was the scene literally where they were going up to the that top floor, climbing up all those stairs. Irene was Irene asked Claire like, "What would happen if your husband found out? Like, realistically, what would you do?" And Claire was just like, "I don't know." <laughs> and part of me feels like she said, "I don't know," but I think she either knew that she would either have to disappear or that she would be dead. Like, I feel like she was she probably knew that. Maybe just didn't want to say it. Maybe didn't want to explain it. So I think when she saw her husband come in, I think she was like, look, this is the beginning of the end. Um, because at the end of the day, like that man was upset. <laughs> and I mean, I, he of course was upset. He hates black people. He finds out his wife, who's the mother of his kids, is a nig. <laughs> like for real, for real. So like, you know, but I feel like she was probably like, I, you know, he's gonna beat me to death at some point. He's gonna, oh, even if I'm on the run, he's gonna find me. Like maybe she was just thinking all that and was like, if he ever finds out, that's it. So that's a reason she could have been, I feel like she might've been suicidal in that moment. And I feel like in that moment, maybe she was like, he's gonna kill me. Let me take agency over my own life and over my own death, which I mean, it's empowering, but it's sad. And maybe she was like, I'm gonna do it so that he doesn't do it. Um, and the reason, I, the reason I even say all of this is because my thing is like, I feel like when the husband, when the white man, the husband came in, she started inching towards the open window. And I'm like, if somebody's about to, I feel like rule number one, if somebody, I mean, not rule number one, maybe rule number five. If somebody's really coming for you, like charging at you, if you can, you need to get in front of like a corner wall <laughs> or in front of a wall, like, I would never think somebody's coming at me. Let me stand in front of an open window. So I don't know. Part of me, I just feel like she put she. I'm not gonna say she put herself in that situation because I don't like that phrasing. But I don't know. Part of me was like, why would you? Why would you stand in front of a, a balcony, an open window, knowing you're someone's about to charge you? Like, so part of me felt like she was, she was putting. No, okay. She was, you know, getting a position a little bit for her death, which is why I'm like, hmm. Now, another reason I think she could have been suicidal was because I think through this movie, we also see that she, I'm not gonna say she feels like she made the wrong decision, but I think she could have felt like, hmm, you know, Irene's life seems great. She can actually be her full self. And like, she gets to be around black people all the time. And like, she gets to live in this area and she gets to be around, you know, all these black, you know, I don't know. Like, I just feel like she might have after a while, especially experiencing life with Irene and her husband and just getting to know the family, getting really close with the family, started to feel like maybe I chose the wrong path. Maybe I shouldn't have been passing and could have felt bad about her decision to do that. Especially because she seemed to really miss and like enjoy talking to black people and hanging out with black people and like especially since of course she's black like you know so I also think that's a reason that she could have been like possibly suicidal or just kind of thinking about her life and feeling like she made the wrong decision but not really being able to like easily just go to that side like I feel like she was trying to but I think obviously her husband found her and, and that wasn't gonna work forever. But I think in her hanging out with Irene and Irene's husband, she was kind of trying to fit herself back into like blackness, you know? So I think that's another reason that supports the fact that she could have killed herself or at least wanted to. My overall thoughts now. So overall, I like the movie. Okay, I, I really did like the movie, especially after having these conversations with people, seeing the tweets, I was like, okay, you know, I, I get the bigger messages, I get the like, you know, just the notes that we saw throughout the movie. So I did like it. Again, I thought the acting was amazing. So that definitely helped. It was very, something about it just felt like believable. It felt like, okay, 
I can see, like, I can see this, especially in the timing, especially knowing that people did pass, did successfully pass. And of course we know how hard it is for black people in this America to live. I mean, you know, everyone, but like black people when it comes to racism. So it's like believable that someone would like want to pass, you know? And something else I really liked about the movie, I liked that it was really all about focusing on the privileges that light-skinned people have, that mixed-race people have, that white-passing people have. And not even to say that if you have that privilege, your life is gonna be perfect, because obviously, <laughs> we, we saw that it's not gonna be perfect, you know, and, it's, and there's gonna be struggles. But I just like that it was, a, I feel like I've never really seen a movie like that. Not it, not in that just very clear way, um, and not yeah, not in that super clear way of like look at this person's life and look at this person's life and see how they're different, see how they're similar. Like I liked that, um, and I think there should be more representation of like mixed race people's experiences or white passing people's experiences. And I say that because I feel like a lot of times, and comment down below what you think. I think a lot of times. I feel like people are like, we're all black, we're all struggling, like it's all the same. And while we are all black and you know, we all have certain struggles with racism or whatever, like I just think it's, there's differences. Those two people are gonna live very different lives and I'm kind of over the whole like, we all have the same struggle because I'm like, we don't. Because I'm like, if you can pass, that's gonna give you, of course it's not gonna make your life perfect or that's not gonna mean that you're not gonna experience racism, but I'm like, that's gonna give you a different kind of set of privileges versus someone who can't pass. And I feel like we need to see more of that. Like we need to see how the differences in like, like black people's everyday experiences, because of course I say it all the time, we're not a monolith. So like, you know, we're all gonna experience like slightly nuanced experiences within our collective blackness or whatever. So I I am all here for movies that are specifically like, or you know, shows that are like, this is my experience as a mixed race person. This is my, you know, and then it's something else. This is my experience as like a light skinned black person. This is my experience as like a dark skinned black person. This is my experience as someone who's black and LGBTQAI+. This is my experience as someone who's black and like trans. This is my experience as someone who's black and disabled. Like I feel like we need different, we need to sh showcase differences in like blackness. Cause it's just, it's all gonna facilitate different experiences and just lives and things like this. So like I said, I feel like this is one of the first movies that I've seen or you know, projects that I've seen that really like highlighted like, just because you can pass, that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be amazing, but also like, this is something you can do that a lot of black people cannot do. So, you know, and they made a movie out of it, made a drama, you know, all that stuff. So comment down below what you think about that. You know, that's just something, like I said, that I feel like I'm, I'm ready kind of to see more of that, like, you know, just differences within, you know, the shared experience or whatever. So yeah, overall, I would say watch it if you haven't already. If you haven't already, okay, if you watch this and you haven't watched it, <laughs> then, I mean, you should still watch it, but you're gonna get a lot of spoilers, so sorry. But either way, I would recommend people to watch it. Um, comment down below what you think. Was Claire pushed by Irene? Was she, did she fall? Did she jump? Did she intentionally wanna die? Or was she killed by her husband who was mad and racist, okay? So comment down below what you think. Um, I want to hear what you think. You know what I think. I'm kind of in between option one and two. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon. There's a lot of cool content coming up on my channel. So don't forget to have, you know, the bell notifier clicked. I don't even know what it's called, but you know, highlight that little bell. Don't forget to share this video, watch my other videos, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Black knowledge is black power and I will see you all soon.